The day of my arrival in Antigua, Guatemala, this last August, the red carpet was laid out for me. Volcán de Fuego erupted. Although people said it was the largest eruption they could remember, not everyone was looking. Life seemed to go on as usual. My eldest daughter and I celebrated her 25th birthday on Mount Etna. She was a volcano addict and wanted nothing more than to go to Etna. It had just erupted. We drove to the base of the volcano. This road, everything was black from the recent flow. We could see further up the mountain, little spots here and there where there was like a hole in the mountain. Volcanoes there are not like here, where you have a prescribed path to travel on, many guides in brown uniforms and sticks keeping you on the right side of the rope. No, there was no one in charge. There was just this mountain and lava, and you could do whatever you want, go wherever you wanted. It was like a day at the beach. At one point, I was ahead of her. Her shoes were melting, so she was a little curtailed in her speed. I noticed it was getting hotter and hotter, and it looked like there was a big ditch. As I got closer to it, I could see that it was very, very deep, quite wide, and on the far side of it, it was glowing as though it were a reflection from some red light. I got up to the chasm and looked down. It was a flowing river, maybe five, six feet across, of molten lava. And the hair on the back of my neck just stood out. It was so overwhelming and my bodily reaction to it was completely beyond thought. I was in touch with what they now call the lizard brain. I wanted her to have a similar experience so I didn't scream out, oh honey, come, you've got to look at this. I just suggested she come up here and let her have the same moment of discovery that I had had. We had been walking for about 15 minutes when I noticed that um, my feet were really sliding around in my tennis shoes. I put my hand to the ground and the ground was hot. And uh, it was I think about then when I realized uh, that what we were doing may not be a good idea. I told mom and uh, we were both a little shocked and concerned because there were no cars around or anything and still had quite a ways to go up the hill. So we started walking faster. Besides, you know, if, if my shoes wore down and got holes in them, you know, well, we would have been stuck. And there was smoke coming out of all kinds of holes here and there. Mom went on ahead of me and I had to be careful. I had to ration where I was walking. Mom motioned for me to, to come ahead, so I did. It was so hot, but I got close enough to peer into this hole from afar where I could see this river of white, molten, and orange lava beneath. You could jump into that hole. People couldn't get very close because the heat was so intense, and heat waves were coming off of... It, it really it was like a whole river. It was like a world down in this flowing. It was underneath us. It was inside the mountain. Top of the hole, was part of the mountain and people were walking around. That mountain was only about a foot thick. Any of us could have just fallen through. I just I couldn't believe how incredible it was. My knees became so weak I fell down. I, I couldn't stand up because I had never seen anything like that. It was like the blood of the earth, really. The, the, um, the, the core of the earth. And 
uh, it really, really touched me. You started to cry, actually. Yeah, I did. I cried. I, I cried. I, I, I've never seen anything so profound. It had so much meaning. It was, it was real and raw.